Hello guys, my name is Samuel Dollar of dropshippingit.com. If you're watching this, this either you want to start a dropshipping business or already doing dropshipping business. Welcome. So today we are going to talk about how to add a sitemap on your Shopify store, how to configure the no index, no follow configuration for your Shopify store. But let us first define uh, what is a sitemap, what is a no index, what is a no no follow and how they are beneficial to your Shopify store. So what is a sitemap? So according to Google, a sitemap is a file where you provide information about the pages, the videos and other files on your site and the relationships between them. Search engines like Google read this file to crawl your site more efficiently. A sitemap tells Google which pages and files you think are important in your site and also provide valuable information about these files. For example, when the page was last updated and any alternate language version of the page. You can use a sitemap to provide information about specific types of content on your pages including video, images and news content. For example, a sitemap video entry can specify the video running time rating and age appropriateness rating. A sitemap for image can include the location of the image and the specific page the image is on. A sitemap news entry can also include the article, the blogs, the publication date, the author and other valuable information about the article. So you ask yourself, do you really need a sitemap for Shopify? The answer is yes. If your Shopify pages are properly linked, Google can usually discover most of your site. Proper linking means that all pages that you deem important can be reached through some form of navigation, either through your site menu or important pages on the site. And that is why a sitemap is important because it helps Google crawl your pages, your products, and the entire Shopify store, depending with the rules that you've set in the app that we're going to install. So to kick start our app installation, you, you log into your Shopify store, then click on online store. Beneath it is an app section. So when you click on this apps you'll see the apps installed in your shopify store but in our case we need to click all recommended apps which will take us to this section just scroll down ignore the apps there and click on shopify app store which will take us to the shopify app marketplace on this page uh you will click we'll search for sitemap then you'll scroll down okay you'll see other results but ignore them our interest is this app here sitemap uh, no index seo tool by dgp uh digital so click on it it will open then uh, it will redirect you to your shopify store uh then uh at this section just click install app okay this is the dashboard of the the, the app that we are talking about it is one of the leading seo apps right now on shopify marketplace so this is the inst installation process. Now it is $3.49. Just cl click approve. Uh, but the this first seven days is free. This is the dashboard of the app. So here is where you configure everything uh, you need uh, uh, about this app. Everything that you, how you want this app to work. From, you know, no index, no follow, HTML, sitemap and stuff. So I'm going to take you through step by step. But the first thing we need to do is to enable this app on our Shopify. But uh, this is how the dashboard looks like. It's a very simple but very effective app. So uh, we just need to, uh, to, to, uh, to enable this app uh, on our theme. So we click on enable, which will direct us to our theme setting, customizer. And now you see it is enabled there. Then you have to save. Uh, the changes that we've made to our theme for it to be effective so uh you need to click on save okay so after saving the app will be enabled in our back end but we first need to go back to the app also to verify the app status if it is uh working so you click on check for uh status it will change to you know enable all the the red uh button there will appear to be green yes uh, now it is checked it is now enable which means our site is uh, now using sitemap uh, no index seo hub by dgp digital so this is the dashboard again now we need to 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 work on our app setting no index no follow tags and stuff so uh, under under no index uh they have section pages collections blah 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 so here is where you tell this tool not to in not to include a certain uh, section 
for indexing so if you don't want your login page to be indexed you simply check no index if you don't want it to, to if you do want, you want a no follow function on a specific area you simply check one of the boxes depending with uh, what you want this tool to do if you check one of these boxes it tells google crawlers not to crawl on that specific uh, you know a uh, section that you've uh, you've checked uh this helps a lot with ranking indexing just like any just like wordpress site okay but now it is available for shopify store owners like me and you and this makes uh, owning a shopify store more enjoyable than before because if you want to earn to make sales through search engine this is the time to do that uh, for longevity so under products you can decide to index some products you can decide not to uh, depending with what you want uh, in in some cases you may find that a product has variants okay and you don't want those variants to be indexed so if it is one product with five variants uh, uh, this app will only index the product on the main page which means if you choose not to index the variants, it will exclude the variants on the main page. And also if you want uh, this app not to index all your product, you simply choose no follow or no, no, uh, no index, depending with what you want, okay? So this makes this app very, very, very efficient. In our case, because as sometimes you don't want all the product detail to be indexed more. So some images, if you know you may run into some copyright issues so after doing all this what you need to do is simply to you know save the changes that you are going to make on this app and this will make it do exactly as you want and uh, under html uh, sitemap the moment we enable the sitemap on our theme uh it automatically created a sitemap and this as you can see the below link here this is the the link to our sitemap on our shopify theme okay the one that we activated so this is the link here but now we need to add this link on our shopify theme to appear on our you know menu and stuff so uh if you if you copy paste that link or you open that link in a new tab this is where you land so it shows you the products the collection the pages based on your setting what you wanted it to, to index the ones that you wanted not to be indexed. now uh, we want to add it to our menu this is our menu so under navigation uh, when you click on online store you'll see section themes blog post pages navigation our interest is on navigation so navigation is our menu it is the term used on Shopify to, to access your menu or to edit or to you know to change how they appear so we click on uh, you know uh online store when you click on online store there will be a drop down uh, then you go choose the navigation so uh, when you choose a navigation uh you'll see a lot you'll see different types of settings you can have your menu main menu and also footer menu but i want it to appear under the footer menu so i'll go with the footer menu then add this the the link that uh the sitemap link that gen it was the app generated to my you know footer menu so we click on footer menu then we, go, we scroll down these are the items on the footer menu we scroll down to add a menu item when you click on add menu item it gives you option to add a page a link you know a collection blah 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 but first we need to name it so we are going to name it as sitemap okay then under the link we're just going to paste the link that we copied from the site then and you know we click on add after it appeared so we give it some time so it will appear there sorry let me just do it again so it appears then we you know you just click on it then you uh, say add it is added and make sure you save the settings or the anything that you've added okay let me just edit the sitemap here then we apply the changes again then click on save then we have to check if the changes have been applied on the main site so go to the main site then we scroll down yes yes the sitemap has been successfully added and when you click on this sitemap it should show you the the sitemap page with the products the pages the seo no index tool comes with a lot of settings and they are very easy to configure or to set up uh, depending with what you want your site to 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 include in terms of indexing in terms of no follow 
but it has a very clean and uh, uh, user-friendly dashboard okay so this uh, helps you just you know configure the app and also how to use them so under the HTML uh, sitemap when you click on setting uh, it will take you to a page that allows you to edit the content of your sitemap how you want them to appear okay so for instance uh, the link that we just clicked previously where our site we integrated our sitemap so here you can choose the visibility whether you wanted the product section to be visible or you want to hide pages so you want to hide anything that is related to your site this is the place that you need to 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 do that for your sitemap on the page on the menu the sitemap on the menu and also you know on the google crawlers it will appear the same so under the page title if you don't want this let's say for products to appear as products you can even try try write something like best products or unique products or best sellers it all depends with your you know how you want it to appear under the pages also you can even say unique pages or under collection you can say all collection it all depends with how you want your sitemap to to read remember the sitemap is the the link that we added to our footer so when i click the word sitemap it took me straight to the sitemap and you are able to see the products you know collection and also article so this is where you set that up under help you can find all the the impo important information rela relating to how to set up this app how to use it uh, the best settings for your shopify store and everything else that will make your uh, search engine visibility better for your shopify store now seo is a very important element in our, in well starting an online business it helps with visibility and also search engine ranking now this tool is meant to help your site rank and it help to help google crawl your web your shopify site but it can be more helpful if you also do the Shopify basic SEO, which means the meta tags, the meta description, the home page description, you know, doing the uh, Shopify image SEO, which will help this app work better. So um, SEO is very, very, very important. So if you are looking for long term uh, business on Shopify, uh, there are people who depend entirely uh, in, in advertisement and there are people who want to create a long term in investment. So SEO is a good longevity and also visibility. So if you want your Shopify to rank on search engine uh, without spending a dime, then you need to install this app because it's the latest unique Shopify apps that helps with indexing, that helps with search engine visibility. SEO was better on WordPress, but now with this app, it is more, it is even more interesting on Shopify. You know, Shopify doesn't allow a lot of rooms for uh, SEO, but with such apps, we can integrate SEO uh, in Shopify without much effort. So if this is your kind of video, this is your kind of uh, app, uh, there's a link below this description, which will take you straight to the, to the SEO no index uh, uh, tool. I've been using this app in some of my money sites on Shopify, and I saw it wise to share it with you guys because it will help you more so if you are on a low budget you don't want to spend much money on you know advertisement influencer marketing etc why not just invest in a long-term solution like aco and see how how it goes so uh if you are new to drop shipping or shopify uh you can simply sign up i have a 14 days free trial also then after signing up on shopify then you use the link that i provided uh uh, in the description below to access this hub thank you guys for watching